the Akash Network is just insane in my opinion. And in a lot of ways, I, I truly honestly believe it is one of the most underrated blockchains out there, even as a part of Cosmos. The video is not about Cosmos, it's to talk about how the Akash token has just exploded in growth over the past couple of weeks leading to the overall month. We're gonna talk about some of the updates. We're gonna talk about the super mini. We're gonna talk about cloud mining with Akash. There are a lot of changes that have happened recently. Some very exciting things that have happened. If you haven't watched any of my videos on Akash, I do have an Akash video playlist. Highly recommend checking it out as it really goes in depth into the potential of this project and the potential of you earning passive income from doing absolutely nothing. And that's nothing better than making money while you sleep. So if you do find value in this video, all I ask is you smash and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications, so you're notified when I drop a video. And if you do want early and exclusive access to new crypto mining opportunities, new crypto projects, exclusive ASICs, yes, I do have access to L7s already which aren't supposed to be accessible till November. So I have awesome opportunities within the Discord. If you do want access to those and more, there will be a link down below in the description for the private Discord. I hope to see you in there. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. As a brief synopsis to Akash without going into detail of what the network does, it's pretty much a cloud computing network. And what they're looking to do is replace what is pretty much monopolized through, you, you have Microsoft Azure, you've got Amazon AWS, you've got Google's. So what they're looking at doing is like an Airbnb for cloud computing. A lot of your different tech companies don't use their computing power or and therefore, they pretty much sell that out in a more decentralized fashion, therefore offering much lower prices and by also implementing blockchain technology. So what you have with a cautious is something that deploys much faster and squales, squales, scales even quicker. So there are a lot of things I've talked about in the cost in the past, but one of the things that has gotten most people the most excited about this is the super mini and it's become so exciting because we still don't know how much it makes and to my understanding there are around 20 to 30 thousand people already on the wait list i was uh, i'm along there with with the rest of you who did not get the opportunity to get their hands on the initial 200 i think it was either 200 or 300 batch of these that were sold for a total price of each device was around $1,000. So obviously the early adopters are taking the risk because these theoretically could make nothing or they could make a lot. Uh, we don't know exactly what the process looks like for the future, but you don't have to have one of these devices, especially when we talk about cloud mining towards the end of this video. So if you're interested in that, stick around till the end. But if you're interested, you can at least still join the waitlist, put in your information. It'll put you on the waitlist. The ones that were already built out, the last conversation that I had with the, the team out at Akash, outside of Greg Osuri, who like I say, if someone can get him on the channel, that'd be fantastic. I'd love to have an interview with him. But that is beside the point. These are still set to be delivered end of Q3, early Q4 from the last I heard to those initial 300 people. And they're after doing test runs and, and seeing the overall experience from those initial early adopters, they would look and venture into possibly doing more of the hardware device cells in order to provide the computing. The reason that this could be a slow process is if there's not enough computing demand, there would be no need for selling more devices. So that is why I foresee why Akash has kind of taken a slight step back from the Akash Super Mini because they want to grow the network first and create the demand so it makes sense to have all these Super Minis meeting that demand when they come online. Now, when we look at some of the overall recent updates, this is a page on their blog highly recommend checking it out but over the past month and over the summer 
one of the things that has really stood out is the insane increase in the token price and one of the things we're going to talk about towards the end of the video like i said is going to be surrounding that of the cloud mining capability now they had a lot of things especially with the launch with helium file base there was a lot of things that happened them with them for them over the summer that really caused a lot of growth for akash just making it very very exciting for a lot of people who have been in this token now that's not growth isn't really the only thing that has exploded the akash token has and when we look at the overall price it was trading if we look at just overall it's been fluctuating a little bit it reached kind of an all-time high towards late spring around eight dollars it had come back down to around two dollars and fifty cents and then late summer just started marching upwards as we saw at peak just the other day it was up around 36 37 percent so put out a tweet on it but it was up nearly to about four dollars and 75 cents just pushing and continuously growing and really not getting phased at all by the recent you know dip in the price of bitcoin now like i said the the token price isn't the only thing that's been increasing but this just goes to show you why that token price has been increasing as the overall active deployments on akash have insanely grown now when i first talked about akash i believe they had it was around june time frame and they had about 60 70 overall active deployments that number sits currently at 426 so now almost you know 8x 7x the overall growth on the network which is fantastic and the overall deployment has become much more simpler and through that deployment being much more simpler i just foresee a lot more growth continuing towards Akash. Now, one of the things we, we're not gonna really talk about in this video specifically is the potential of you staking the Akash token. I highly recommend you check out my other Akash videos where it talks about how you can earn about 56, 57% APY simply from staking the token and it's just compound interest at that point. I believe, and I'll have to look at my numbers in just a second, from me staking on Akash since about June, excuse me, I've made anywhere, depending on the price of the token, but around two to $300 worth of Akash just simply staking in it, just letting it grow and accumulate in value. So I highly recommend you check out that video if you're interested in passive income, especially when it comes to earning interest on a project that has a ton of potential in the future. Now, having talked about the deployment ability of Akash, deploying Akash is becoming very very simple and in fact you can simply download it on windows or on mac os now i'm not going to do a video there's a slight video here but i will do a video in the future of how you can deploy akash and set it up for cloud mining this is the video here itself talking about how you can even deploy akash in order to use WordPress on the Akash network. So when you're seeing all of these things being added, if you're not familiar with WordPress, it's one of the most used uh, web website platforms uh, to be able to build websites on. So when you have Akash taking parts and pieces and really building out its infrastructure for something that's much bigger than itself, makes you very, very excited regarding the future potential of the project. Now. Having talked about the potential of uh, cost and cloud mining, one of the things that they talked about as far as the end of summer updates was their partnerships. If we go down here, you can see here that they talk about their most recent partnership. So they said that more recently we began working with mining communities such as PKT.cash. The world's first bandwidth hard blockchain mining cryptocurrency on the cloud is much easier than building your own hardware. Cloud hosting usually comes at a higher cost and requires contracts, and service providers can charge extra fees for bandwidth usage, making things more difficult. Some cloud providers are shutting off mining operations at will. Crypto mining projects like PKT are looking for better cloud providers, and now they can run on Akash or Akash network. I believe it's pronounced Akash. But this video down here will show you kind of how it works. Like I said, I'll be putting out my own video of how the process was, how to go along the process and kind of explaining it possibly in a more simplistic way. But this is super exciting. Now, not only is Akash 
you know, Acash focused on, you know, mainstream things, they're now getting a focus in using the extra computing power that they have for cloud mining. Now, obviously, cloud mining is a very controversial thing. Some people say it's fantastic. Some people hate it. But to each their own, it's still an opportunity for Akash and the growth potential. Now, this is not going to be a video talking about PKT Cash or the tokens or the tokenomics of it. But from the research I've done, it is a very reputable opportunity. It's not one of those scam or, or crap coins, uh, for lack of better terms, that are out there that you know it will go away before you know it. And in fact, when you look at the reputability and you look at the network overview, PKT Cash blockchain mainnet turned two years old, August 20th. This is from them themselves talking about the network growth. The PKT network crossed the threshold of 100 uh, gigabytes per second of sustained bandwidth. This figure is based on the collective ingest from the three dominant mining pools, totaling to around 105 gigabytes per second. To put this in, to put this type of bandwidth in perspective, Helium's 140,000 hotspots, which is now more than this, are pushing 33 gigabytes per second, means that the PKT network is now three times more powerful than the Helium network. Additionally, the bandwidth throughout throughput has grown by approximately 2x over the past 45 days. So realize that this is not a tiny little small project that Akash is starting to partner with. This is a massive project and it has a lot of potential in it. I'm excited to be able to start cloud mining PKT. It's going to be something I'm going to be in a learning process of. And once I kind of test and, and do, fall, you know, make my own mistakes kind of things, uh, and be able to, you know, smoothly be able to, you know, deploy it, make sure that, you know, calculate the passive income. It's one of those projects I would love to be able to talk about and show how you can easily progress from passive income on Akash to then passive income with PKT. So I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully it provided you an update on Akash network. Some of the things that we have seen over the past summer, some of the things that we should be expecting kind of towards the end of the year and exciting new opportunities such of the likes of PKT and cloud mining, which I think they're just simply scratching the surface on cloud mining. Imagine how much of a massive market Akash could have outside of just PKT and cloud mining and just cloud mining in general. That just, just gets me excited. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your opinions. What are your thoughts on Akash? Do you currently stake Akash? I stake Akash on Cosmo Station. I absolutely love it provides me passive income and there's nothing better like I say than making money while you sleep so if you did find value in this video smash and destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm yet to subscribe hit the subscribe button down below turn on all notifications so you're notified when I drop a video and if you do want early and exclusive access and discounts to different crypto miners crypto money projects there will be a link down below in the description for the private discord I hope to see you in there until next time guys stay invested